morning. Welcome to day seven of the index card challenge. Here's my card and I'm going to work with yellow. I decided that I wanted to use as much of this yellow as I could and, and I'm going to cheat. I've got two cards because why not? All right, so let me get started. I'm just going to start gluing. There's a lot of scraps here to glue. Little ones, a lot of little scraps. I've kind of got them separated into these are more cardstock or thicker paper. These are small scraps that are thin paper and these are larger scraps, which there are not many of. So we'll see what I can get. All right, let's get started. I used everything except these three pieces and this little stack here, I didn't really see a point in putting these on. I already had some on there so I had extra so that's got to go back in the bag. And this one, I don't know why it even wound up in the yellow bag. Same with this one. This one was iffy. I might use that one. These could go in the purple bag. These are thick because they're handmade paper and so I don't know if I want to use them or not but they're in reserve just in case. All these little yellow pieces are in reserve just in case I want to use them. So I'm going to find a spot for this and here's my cards so far. And I really wanted to keep these simple today. I think I just want to use a stamp on here. I'm also going to go ahead and use these. Even though there's a lot of purple in there, I'm just going to go ahead and put them down because by the time I get through with the card, you probably won't even notice. I'm going to go ahead and put my Liquitex Gesso on and spread it around my cards and push this back a little bit and get the scraps to kind of blend together. I'm not really concerned, like I've said in the previous videos, I'm not really concerned about keeping these scraps. I just wanted them down. You can see the difference, but you can still see what's going on. Okay, I've got my gesso down, and if I was using scraps that were a little more cohesive, I might not use the gesso. This just helps me kind of bring them all together like they belong together. Like on this card, I did not use gesso. This one here, I didn't need to. So I also want to put some stamps on here. I have some stamps that I've made in leaf shapes that I'm going to use, and I'm just gonna put a few on the cards I don't know what color I'm going to use yet. I haven't decided. Maybe yellow? I don't know. Or maybe I'll use some paint. Hmm. Yeah. I'll see if I can find a pale yellow paint. Because I want them there, but I don't want them like in your face. 
because I'm thinking I want to use this one in your face. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back since I found my paint. I'm going to try this Hope color by Ceram Coat and see if I can get any stamps to show up. It may be too pale, but if it is, that's okay. That looks cute like that. Okay, I'll stick this in water and I'll clean it later. Okay, so now what I want is, well, I've got to dry these, but what I want is a paper that I can use this stamp on. I'm going to go through the big scraps, which is in this box, and see if I can find something that I like. This one looks perfect. I just don't know if it's not too blendy blendy. It probably is. I'll keep looking. These papers that I painted haphazardly one day, it's the backs of junk mail, would stand out really well, but uh, I don't know, maybe too much. So I've pulled out several things that I might could use. Let's just discuss for a second. These are the cards. This is the stamp I want to use. There's going to be paper showing because I'm not going to cut in between everything. I'm just going to cut around the outside. You have to keep that in mind. So this is a pullout of uh, pages that I did in a journal that I could use. This area here might work, but it's kind of blendy. This would stand out. That's a possibility. So this is a no. Some of these papers which would really stand out, just use a brown or a black ink. That would be really pretty. So these are options. The other thing that I pulled out was these index cards. <laughs> So these are starter cards, just like what we're working on, except I'm finishing these a little more. That would really stand out on the card and keep in the yellow theme. So that's an option. This one I thought would be pretty. That's an option. Then there's these papers that I made that could be considered. I really love this one, but I think it's just going to be too blendy. So I probably will try a couple things. Because if I don't use it on here, I'll use it on something else. I really am interested in trying this one, to be honest with you, to see what it would do. Just to see what it looks like, because right now it looks like this. But when you put the stamp on and you cut it out, it's going to have a whole different look. Let's try. Let's just see what it looks like. All right. You may not use it, but let's try. I couldn't decide between brown, black, or green, so I think I'm just going to go with the green. Olive green. This is Dazon ink. Okay, there's the cutout. Isn't that just so different? But it's not what I want. It's cute, it's not what I want. Okay, back to the drawing board. So based on this, I have a feeling this wouldn't make me happy either. So I'm not even gonna try these. Let's try one of these papers. And we'll go with a brown ink this time. All right, I'm gonna cut this out and we'll see how that looks. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like that. I might go with this. Do we wanna try any others just to see? Let's try this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it and then cut it out and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you real quick before I cut it. That's pretty. Okay, I have this cut out. I absolutely love it, but I'm not gonna use it. I'll use it on something else. The reason I love it so much is because it, the colors are just beautiful, but the reason I'm not going to use it is because they disappear on here. I would prefer to use this on something that's a solid color so it shows better. So I think I'm going to go with this one, but I've, I've gone ahead and cut out two. But before I do, I am going to go get a piece of deli paper that's plain, that has no paint on it. I'm going to try stamping with the black and cutting it out, and I'll lay it on here and I'll see what it looks like, because you can see the colors through. It's muted, but you can see it. We'll just try it. All right, I tried just plain deli paper, and I stamped my image, and I did it twice because I kind of liked it. This is what it looks like. And once you put this down, this white paper will kind of disappear a little bit. It's not the same as tissue paper. 
It won't go away as much as tissue paper or a napkin, but it will go away a little bit. I want some more stamping, but I want it in gray because now that these are dry, the yellows kind of disappeared a little more, although I can see them. I still want a little bit more. Now let's go back and let's glue this down. Now that it's dry, I can go in if I want to with a little bit of yellow paint and maybe wet my brush and put some color on the white and it would blend in more. So you can see it's blending in better that way. See the difference? So I've been playing around with this stamp and doing my little layering and my thinking and all that stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other card with you. All I did was start off with my pencil, went to my China marker, that's white, went to my Versa chalk marker and my Posca pen, that's black. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And somebody might ask, why would you go to the effort of painting the paper, the yellow, and then come back in with the white when it was originally white in the first place? As I explained in yesterday's video, in case you're new and didn't hear this, it's all about the layering process for me. It's about layering different things and different strokes of the different mark making tools. In here, you can see the white Versa chalk. You can see the black Posca pen. Sometimes you can see the pencil. Right now on this one, you cannot, so I might bring a little bit back in. And the China marker is a different texture. It's a little more waxy, so you can see a little bit of a shine. So it's just all about the layering, plus it's fun. I want to add the word floral on here, I think, and I wrote it out with this Sharpie S gel pen. So I'm going to take this gloss varnish, just pour a little bit out on my paper plate, and it'll make it easier for me to use. It's just Liquitex Basics gloss varnish. I'm going to dry these, and I took the word floral off. I want a word on here, but I'm just debating on how to put it on here. I am going to take my Versa chalk and write though. Well, I wrote the word floral and it stands out, so maybe I'll just leave it like that. I kind of like it. I think they both turned out cute. Okay, is there anything else to do? I don't think so. I think I'm done. Do I want any more pencil? No. No, you don't. Stop. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. I got most of my yellow scraps used. There are a few left. One day, I'll just take all the rest of these little pieces and I'll just put them in a hodgepodge of something. Maybe in this project. I will be using these as something else. Maybe on the next card, you never know. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.